Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another commentary brought to you by Frank the Tank. We've got Combat X in the bottom right here of, uh, or rather the right center of Slag Pits. The, uh, one of the brand new maps out here brought to you by Blizzard and, uh, yep, so we've got Combat X. This is going to be a PvP against Root Cats. Root Cats, not usually a Protoss player as you can see here in the chat. Root Cats is usually a Zerg player. So it's going to, it's going to be a little bit interesting seeing these two guys face off. Combat X is actually kind of really cool that uh, he's he's going to be playing in this game. Um, and he is going to be playing against somebody of the caliber of Root Cats because Cats is obviously one of the uh, the crazy psycho uh, Zerg players. And uh, yeah, so... I, sorry guys, the ADD again kicking in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, Combat is from actually Waterloo University and I do... Um, I, uh, yeah, I do use, I, um, blah, 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 blah. I go to Waterloo quite often, and actually that's where I'm going to be holding my land, so, um, I expect that during my tournament, which is actually going to be held in September, I believe, um, to expect this guy right here, Combat X, to be there, as well as some really, really top-level players. I'm hoping to get some bigger names out there, like Kiwi Kaki and things like that, but that's kind of, uh, I don't know, there's potential that that won't happen. Um, it actually looks like we've cut Combat here. Going for a friggin' cannon rush, and a lot of people have been saying that uh, Combat does like to cheese a lot. I know in my tournament he did actually cheese quite a bit as well, but that was because he was playing on a laptop, and he actually didn't have a mouse with him. So uh, let's just take a look here and see, uh, yep, pretty sure he saw that. So um, Katz is definitely going to be completely aware that this is coming, and there's going to be a pylon warp down here at the bottom of the, of the uh, high ground. and. Actually, I would argue that this is probably going to work. Like, this is uh, the only thing, the only unit that's going to be able to come out here for cats. It's going to be a zealot, but actually, it's going to hold back on the zealot until. Uh, yeah, he actually might just be holding out entirely. He might just be waiting to go for that, uh, go for that stalker, which is actually a really good choice because a zealot's not going to be able to do anything against cannons. Cannons are like, like they're OP in comparison to zealots because their range is just like ridiculous and. All that good stuff, and it actually looks like a bunch of probes being brought off the line here. Going to be able to cancel that one. Uh, oh, and it looks like actually this probe is going to be dancing around here, trying to get down a, a cannon. But really nice play there from uh, from Cats. Going to be able to force these probes actually back, and it looks like Combat's going to use a trick going through the mineral line there, and not going to be able to get down that cannon. So very nice pull, probe pull from Cats there, having two cannons on the low ground. This is actually some. This is actually a really good game. Um, two cannons on the low ground that there. Uh, going to be able to fend that off, and it looks like, however, two probes here coming in. They're going to try to warp in two more cannons, as you can see, stockpiling their 450 minerals. And another uh, pylon going down there, just making sure he doesn't get supply blocked for those probes. And some more cannons going down here, however, with the stalker out, he's gonna, yeah, he's actually going to have to mass produce a bunch of cannons just like this, just to make sure that one of them at least goes up. So, um, I, I actually, if I were Cats, I would argue that he should pull some probes, yeah, and start attacking this one right here. But unfortunately, the cannon's going to be in range of those uh, those probes, and a second stalker is going to be coming out here, and he's just going to cancel this one in the middle. Yeah, he does. I, I believe he got the cancel off there. Uh, actually, I'm not sure anymore. Um, he should have gotten the cancel off there, and it looks like two of the, them are going to be able to warp in here. One of them is going to go down though to three stalkers, and uh, yeah, some more probes coming in off the line here. So definitely dedicating to this all in here and unfortunately walling himself in there with those two probes and it looks like one of the probes is going to go down so one probe going down there and uh, just some more cannons getting warped in here uh the economy has, has actually been pretty tattered there for cats so cats is not looking actually as good as you would expect him to be um having fended this off pretty well and uh just more probes being pulled off the line here and gg coming from combat there so pretty cheesy game uh What? That's so brutal. I wish I wouldn't have commentated this. Oh no, don't say things like that. Wow. That's pretty rough. Um So Wow. Okay. Uh I'm a little lost. As for words here, uh, uh, oh my god, is this really happening? 
Oh no. Oh no. Uh This isn't how you no. Uh This is not how you climb the ladder. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't have an overlay yet, so you do you guys do see what uh how much time is left in this game here. Uh, uh so just going back into the strategy of things, um, definitely, yeah, Katz has the uh, option to do whatever he wants. He should probably expand after that Robo Facility comes up. Probably, yeah, grab an Observer and just make sure there's no DTs or anything like that coming out because that's really the only tech choice that, uh, that, um, combat can go for right now. I'm actually thoroughly... <laughs> oh, facepalm. I am so disappointed right now, but, uh, that's okay. Uh... We'll see what um, what happens after this. I'm sure combat will eventually get there. I mean, if he's second in North America right now. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is some, some BM stuff. But that's... Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to be one to judge the players in the games. I'm not going to call down any judgment right now. That's up to uh, the viewers because, you know, this is a spectator sport. And it's up to the spectators to decide what's... Uh, what's right and what's wrong here so you guys just kind of decide for yourselves um we do have a cybernetics core coming up here and i can only imagine that the next thing that's going to come out of these things is probably yeah just more cannons and like this is just silly uh definitely has the option to expand here i don't know why cats hasn't done that yet he's building up like a a, a much bigger army than uh than combat could even imagine at this point so hopefully this observer comes out sometime oh it's gonna be a, a warp prism actually so that's actually a good call as well and just upgrading blink there so really good stuff there really good play um bunch of cannons on the front door and uh yeah this this is not gonna go over well like i'm obviously gonna stay and see because this is pretty dramatic but um really unfortunate that this is happening this way and actually yeah this is a good call here go around to the side here pick off the uh the forge and he can yeah he can just completely reveal his hand here reveal the fact that he does have uh, a warp prism and that he's gonna be dropping off these stalkers in the front of the base here uh dark shrine yeah there's the dt tech as i was saying there and it actually looks like two stalkers gonna be warping in there as well for uh cats and he's just gonna completely smash this game so uh, an interesting game to start, and um, a little bit crazy ending, a little bit crazy some BM there going on, but uh, I don't know. I am not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be a judge. I'm not gonna judge anything. Uh, I am gonna actually check the ladder after this, and I'll mention it in the next game that I cast, which should be a faith game. I actually had a hard time. Uh, I had a really hard time finding a game of faith, <coughs> and. Uh, so hopefully if I do find a game, that'll be the next game, so just stay tuned to that and I'll, I'll check where combat is actually on the ladder. Um, so yeah, this is definitely GG, like, yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Oh boy.